global IT outage, airports, banks, media companies like the one I work for at ABC7 News in San Francisco have all had network disruptions. And these companies impacted not just in the States, but around the globe. Hospital workers across the country tell me their systems were impacted. Hotel workers say the same. 911 systems in certain cities have been impacted. And as I report all of this, it's just after 5 a.m. on the East Coast, just after 2 a.m. on the West Coast. The company CrowdStrike, a U.S. cybersecurity company, has admitted to being responsible for the error and are working to fix it. CrowdStrike is based out of Austin, Texas. The FAA said at one point air traffic controllers had to tell airborne pilots that airlines are currently experiencing communication issues. That is why flights were grounded at one point. American Airlines says this is a problem with CrowdStrike and they are working to resolve the issue as quickly as possible. You're watching Sky News. Hello, a very good morning. You're watching Sky News. Let's get you up to date with our top stories here today. And a major global IT outage is impacting many of the world's largest companies, including us here at Sky News. The system failure is believed to have been caused by a flawed antivirus update, although nothing has as yet been confirmed. Here at the BBC, CBBC as well. There you go. The message is clear and simple. Sorry, something's gone wrong. While we fix it, you can go to the BBC iPlayer. Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekah Kadash. It's all pra praises to the world calls God, whose true name in Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, be the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace and mercy, to the hopeful like preaching, word and truth and sincerity on the brother Tazaba. Of the Great Millstone, Arizona camp, Laura Will with another video to edify. And uh, I wanted to uh, make a lesson, right? Because I was meditating while watching the, the GMS Dallas camp go live. And, and you know, certain thoughts just while I'm listening is like the Lord is really, the Lord is going to move. At breakneck speeds when the judgment starts going out. Right? And what you just saw was a clip. Right? Detailing the effects of this recent global. Right? This recent global uh, uh, system outage affecting everything. Airports, banks, media companies, hospitals, hotels. 911 systems globally and the lord can make these things just boom just go all of a sudden all of a sudden right and the other thing i want to draw attention to is right hurricane barrel and the stuff isn't being reported but these uh these hospitals give me one second man These hospitals in Houston, after Hurricane Barrel, mind you, a lot of uh, Houston still doesn't have power. So these hospitals that had people on respirators in the middle of surgeries uh, and need to get certain surgeries done, right? People coming in with carbon monoxide poisoning, needing to be hooked on respirators and things like that. These hospitals, many people are just dying off the simple fact that there's no electricity for those hospitals, hospitals to be run on. And this is going on in a, over a week now, right? The Lord has an ability to all of a sudden just move. He doesn't move. And when you go into the scriptures and you see how the Lord has worked in the past when he's ready to bring out judgment, it's not a buildup. Is one day Jake is in their BS, and the next day an army is at the door. Right? The next day, angels are ripping people's heads off, and judgment's going forth. And that's the time we're coming to because nobody, nobody is, is showing the Lord any reverence but the elect. Nobody is showing. The Lord, the respect, like the scripture say, if I be a father, let me get that. One second. The 
this is a this is a scripture it is Mike Malachi it's Malachi 1 and 6 it says as the son honored his father and a servant his master if then I be father where is my honor and if I be a master where is my fear and here it is the father's spirits sent his son through his son uh, being that sacrifice and being the propitiation for our sins right sending the Holy Spirit into men in these last days to preach and prophesy and to give the people the warning the Lord still doesn't have his honor from the average person. The Lord still doesn't have his fear from the average person. It's only the elect. It says, and if and if I be a master, where is my fear? Say, ye howl of hosts unto you, O priests, that despise my name. And ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? Ye offer polluted bread upon my altar. And ye say, wherein have we polluted thee? And that ye say, the table of Yahweh is contemptible. And this is what these people act like. They feel like what they label as faith is enough. But the things that they label as faith is all in hypocrisy and pollution. They believe the Lord loves you no matter what. You can be a mo, and the Lord loves you in their eyes and they pollute the word of the Heavenly Father. They pollute the true spirit and they let these wicked abominations proliferate throughout the earth. So now we're coming into a time where the Lord is going to start putting out that judgment because nobody's giving him his honor. And he's going to move at speeds that have never been seen. The scriptures talk about as if a man... Amos 5 and 18, it says, Woe unto you that desire the day of Yahweh. To what end is it for you? The, the day of Yahweh Bashimi Hashai is darkness and not light. See, when the Lord comes, it's not going to be no, no cuddly thing. It's not going to be nice. You're, telling, you're talking about the king of kings, the prince of princes, Yahweh Shai, stepping off his throne. And while he was sitting on his throne, he looked. Like the scriptures talk about the, the prophet that, that, that it was said, poke, poke in the wall and see. What do you see? He saw all types of abominations happening. The Lord has been looking at all this wickedness through Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai and the angels have been taken note. And now they're coming. Yahweh Shai is coming. Right? As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him. Or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of Yahweh be darkness and not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it? And this is what the day of the Lord is going to be like. Right? So the Lord is about to come and do his thing. Because nobody's given the respect that, it's, that he deserves, man. The scriptures talk about when, when the people would think that the Lord is not a full power, he showeth his strength. That's what's about to happen. When when the judgment goes out so fast. Right? That these people are taken off guard. Because the scriptures tell you that fear is nothing but the fell, fell, felling of the succors. Well, when these things go out so fast and you can't get to the prophets for understanding. Right? To have sense of what's going on. That fear is just going to intensify. Fight. And people are going to lose their minds, man. It's Isaiah 5 and 18. It's woe unto them that draw iniquity, iniquity with cords of vanity and sin as it were with a cart rope. And that's what these people do. They make systems and, 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 and everything to make sin easier. Right? So the Lord is saying woe to them. It says that say, let him make speed and hasten his work. That we may see it. And this is the, the mindset of the people. You have that video from Charleston White saying he, he don't want 
No, Israelite God, he want the white Jesus that allows you to do all your BS in an 11th hour. Say you accept the Lord in your heart and you get into heaven. Right. These people say, if, if your God is what it is, I got to see it. Well, you're going to a lot of people are going to. It says that say, let him be, make speed and hasten his work that we may see it and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come that we may know it. You see, it's not enough that they were warned. It's not enough that they were warned. The warning is enough for them to get right. Right? They they have to feel it. They have to experience the terror of the Lord for them to respect it. And that's exactly what the Lord is going to do. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 9 and 9. It says, Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received uh, benefits and have not known me. And these people have received benefits from the Lord. You got women uh, 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 living in an all type, all all time high, excessive behavior and indulgent lifestyles, showing no reverence to the Lord. You got men doing all type of abomination and act like when you bring up the scriptures, you ain't got shit to say to them because they making money. These people have received benefits. The fact eating is not a, a guarantee. Right? All these people eat daily. When the Lord says, you know what? I'm tired of giving you something. And he takes it away. Watch how these people go. It says verse 11, it says, and they that loathe my law, while they yet had liberty. And this is this. Hey, these people had an ability to follow the Lord's law. The Lord gave them a chance. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. And we, we preach the word of repentance. We tell you, hey, shape up that the Lord don't destroy you, that the Lord can bless you. That you can have right to the tree of uh, 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 life. It says, when as yet the place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised. And these people despise, despise the understanding. They despise the repentance. They think they don't have anything to repent for. The same must know it after death by pain. And that's what's going to happen. Right? Because these people count the Lord's set blackness. Right, let's get that. The second Peter three and nine, it says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. As some men count slackness. The Lord promised that he was going to send judgment. The Lord promised that he's going to rescue the righteous. Some men have fallen away from the truth because they see that that it's not getting any easier. And they, they see that, that that their walk is so hard that they just think the Lord ain't going to come. And the Lord is coming. He, he about to do work in this earth, man. And some men count slackness, but in, it's long suffering to us. We're not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And the, all it's talking about that's going to come to repentance is talking about the elect. Because the Lord shut off the ability to take the warning serious. To certain men, that's why he said, least. Yeah, this Matthews 13 and 15, it says. Uh, started. Uh, 13. Matthew 13, 13, it says, Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see and see not, and hearing they hear not. Neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the pro prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, By hearing ye, ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes ha uh, they have closed, least at any time. They should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart 
and and should be converted and I should heal them. Right? The Lord set it up that, that certain souls aren't even going to get it. Right? So when the judgment starts going forth, it's going to be grievous. Right? The scriptures talk about the swiftness This is uh, Second Ezra 8, and I'll start at 17. It says, Therefore will I begin to pray before thee for myself and for them, for I see the falls of us that dwell in the land. But I have heard the swiftness of the judge which is to come, and that's Yahweh Right? He's going to sever the wicked from the righteous. He's going to separate the sheep from the goats, right? He's going to be the one that treads the wine, wine press. He's going to be the one that, that that's pushing out this judgment. The Lord is going to come with haste, man. It's, it, it's, it's the amount of people that are going to go because they refuse to take the warning. It's going to be staggering. The scriptures talk about there's going to be blood up to the horse's bridle. That's a figurative to, to, to let you see like how tall a horse is and the bridle that's in the mouth of the horse. This that's, man, that's a lot of death. Right? This is a uh, Zephaniah one. And I'll start it. I'll start at 14 and then we'll probably have to work through this whole thing. It says the great day of Yahweh is near. It is near and haste it greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. You see, the, the day of the Lord is going to, it's hasting, right? It's hasting. Man. We see all these prophecies coming past, all this judgment going forward. And it's letting you know that, man, the Lord is about to really put the, put the pedal to the metal, man. And when the Lord starts to push out that judgment, it's going to be at such a fast pace. There's a reason why the scriptures say a thousand shall fall by that right hand. Right. The amount of judgment that's going to be going on is going to be staggering. It says that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble, a day of distress, a day of wasteness. In desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet of a, an alarm against the fenced cities. Letting you know that, that the trumpet and alarm that is against something, right? You have the horn of war. The Lord is going to blow that horn. This is in against the high towers and I will bring distress upon men. You see, this is what it means when the Lord brings out that judgment. When that sudden calamity comes, boom. Boom, boom, and it just keeps coming. Boom. That they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against Yahweh, and their blood should be poured out as the dust, and their flesh as the dung. Neither silver nor go their gold sh shall be dead shall be able to deliver them in the days of Yahweh's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of them that dwell in the land. And that's what the Lord's going to do. A speedy riddance. Quick judgment. Boom. It's going to be straightforward. You did this. Boom. Judgment. This is Ezra 7. Oh, yeah, man. Ezra 7 and 26, it says, and, and whosoever will not do the law of thy power, the law of the king, let judgment be executed speedily upon him, whether it be unto death or to banishment or to con uh, con confiscation of goods or to imprisonments. Blessed be you, how a power of our fathers which have put such things as this in the king's heart to beautify the house of Yahweh, which is in Jerusalem. So the Lord is, the Lord is just going to start picking. This year judgment, this year judgment, this year judgment. It's going to go fast, man. 
right? And all we're saying is this, is this, Isaiah 5 and 9. For you brothers that are sincere, you 5 and 19, Selakia. Like for you brothers that are sincere, you need to take this, 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 uh, serious. No, 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 not that one. Uh, there was one I was looking at earlier. This is a. Uh, and this is why you got to make this a priority to the best of your ability. This is uh, Zechariah 8 and 20. It says, Thus say Yahweh hosts, it shall yet come to pass that there shall come people in the inhabitants of many cities, and the inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us speedily. Let us go speedily to pray before Yahweh and to seek Yahweh of hosts. I will go also, and many people and strong nations shall come and seek Yahweh of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before Yahweh. You got to make speed to pray to the Lord because he's about to start making speed to bring judgment. And this sudden, abrupt, this, this a bunch of sudden events that are happening suddenly the, the 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 hurricane barrel turns into a category five. Suddenly, the, the, all these global systems go haywire, right? Suddenly, Russia Russia just moves in to Ukraine and starts doing things. Suddenly, all this stuff is just happening. Boom, boom! And all of a sudden, the Lord is 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 starting to move at breakneck speeds when nobody has a response. Prepare, pray. And know the Lord is about to start doing things at breakneck speed. Shalom.